All right, so now we have the Jeep Pulsar and we want to install it in this JK. First thing we got to do is take out the stock ECU. It's pretty simple. There's two main connectors here, two red levers. There's a clip that we're going to do for safety, unlatch them, pull the lever up, take those connectors off the ECU. Once we have those off, we can take the three 10 millimeter bolts out of the ECU and the ECU should come out nice and clean. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, connectors off. Now go in here and get the bolts and get those undone. All right, so I'm going to put these three bolts off to the side. So if I want to put the ECU back in without the Pulsar, we can restore those again. The Pulsar and the ECU are going to actually have longer extension bolts that will go through the ECU as well as the Pulsar to connect everything together. All right, we have our Pulsar for the JK. We have the stock ECU. As you can see, there's different tabs on the Pulsar. One on this side, two on this side. That's where your supplied bolts will go in here. And we can actually hook that to the ECU in the tray and hook it together. But first of all, we got to put the Pulsar on the ECU. You'll notice the connectors are the same color. So the brown goes to brown, white goes to white. So when we do this, we want to have it secure on the table so we can push it down evenly and suck it in tight. So we're going to make sure it goes straight down. Once we have it in there, start a little bit and we feel comfortable. We're going to kind of squeeze both of them at the same time and push down, make it nice and tight. When you lift up, you should notice these brackets here are pushing directly against the ECU. If all three brackets are directly on the ECU and there's no gap, you know the Pulsar is in place. So now the Pulsar are installed on the ECU. All we got to do is take it back over to the Jeep, put in the three bolts, hook the connectors back up. As simple as that, the Pulsar is ready to go on this Jeep JK. All right, so we put our Pulsar on our ECU. Now we just need to reinstall it. A couple quick notes. We want to make sure we put our connectors on first before we put our bolts in so it has enough clearance around the plastic container in here. As well as on this side, there's a ground cable. We want to make sure that ground cable is between the ECU and the connector in the ECU compartment. So we're making sure that ground connector is on, hook our Pulsar connectors to the main connector right here, put it in, use the supplied bolts here. This is a four Allen wrench. Use those, tight, finger tighten them in. Once they're finger tight in place, we can actually tighten them up with our four Allen wrench, get everything nice and smooth, and we're done just like that with the Pulsar on the ECU for the JK. So we put that Pulsar in there, make sure the clip stays nice and tight, put this one on, make sure it stays nice and tight. Now with the levers down, we should have plenty of room to clear between the plastic tray in here. So that one fits there. I'm going to reach back here on this back side, and I'm going to make sure that ground wire stays plugged in to the, goes right through this bolt here. So Check on that back side and watch that go in. All right, got my ground wire in. I got that bolt in nice and tight on the finger. Now we're going to do the top two. Get this thing tightened up and get it ready to go. All right, just like that, everything's secure, connectors are on tight. Go in the cab here and show you how it works. Now we got the Pulsar installed on this Jeep JK. We're going to show you how to change the power levels here. I'm going to come up here and hit the plus on the cruise control with the cruise control off and go through my power levels. Hit it once, go up one power level. Hit it twice, go up to another power level. So using the Pulsar, as you can see, quick and simple install. Easy to change the power levels while you're driving down the road and it saves you the time and effort from sending your ECU in to get it modified for a programmer. Find out more about these products, check out our website.